It's 607 and we've all heard of Spider-Man, Spider-Man or Superwoman, and even Aquaman. But one Northeast Ohio native is putting his personal twist on the superhero genre by creating his own comic book series. Let's check in with Newswise Mike Holden. He's in the studio with us this morning. And Mike, the hero in this comic is his wife. Smart man, smart man. Can't fault with that one, right? <laughs> I'm not going to sing it, I promise. I'll hold off on that for now. But you got to talk about serious dedication to marriage. The comic here is called Stealth Hammer. It was a project that started mid-pandemic and then gained some serious momentum now with the second issue out. The creator never thought his comic book would be on store shelves, but here we are. When Jamie Drost looks at an animated superhero version of herself, she can't help but smile and in a very surreal way see direct parallels to her actual life. I like to fight for truth and justice, and she does as well. At the height of the pandemic, her husband Ryan Drost, a self-proclaimed comic book superfan, poured his heart and soul into creating a comic book. The hero, or heroine in this case, is also named Jamie, but when it's time to fight crime, she transforms into Stealth Hammer. It's a nickname his wife earned while working at a local ad agency. Then she became in charge of brand compliance at another agency where she kind of had to like say, okay, use this color or this logo this way and everything's kind of laying the hammer down. The all ages superhero adventure story became a local hit across Northeast Ohio, flying off the shelves here at Carol and John's comic shop in Cam's Corner. Feeling the itch though, Ryan knew he had more to share and a larger story to tell. A dream was fulfilled by making the first issue. I always wanted to create my own comic. And then once you get that bug, like most people feel, they're like, okay, one issue isn't enough. Let's do another one. The entire project is self-published and funded through a Kickstarter campaign. This second issue dives deeper into Stealth Hammer's family history and how she's honing her superpowers. She has fists like sledgehammers and she can turn invisible when necessary. It is kind of like a hero's quest. And it's a, it's a little bit different than your typical superhero story because She's in this world of high-tech gadgetry and supernatural mythology. The project is a love letter to Jamie and also to the Dros' deep Cleveland roots. We have a character named Ari the Elf, and he is 216 years old, so he's, it's 216 for the area code of Cleveland. Uh, she lives at 33 Cleveland Street. And Ryan says it could not have been done without John from Carol and John's comic shop here in Cam's Corner, who applauds his efforts. I think the, one of the reasons that we support local artists and local creators is that a, a business can live or die by its community, and you have to be an active part of your community. And you can pick up the comic book right now on store shelves. Ryan says he has storyboarded several more issues, so he said he could create at least 10 more comic books or several more twists and plot turns. Of course, we're going to keep a close eye on all of it, Katie and Danita. But the thing that's cool about this, too, that comic book shop, they do free comic book days, oh. and it improves literacy and brings out, yeah. at one point before COVID, like 10,000 people. Wow. So oh given back to the community. Yeah. I love it because we know Cleveland is, you know, home to Superman, and now also stealth hammer. I feel, I feel like I love that's it. what you gotta do. That's what I want to do when you say the stealth hammer. Throw your shoulder out yeah, there. That's, you that's all right. That's why I lift. Every Tuesdays, woman Thursdays. has it in her. We that's have right. it in us. <laughs>